Hello, welcome to Bespoke Unit. I'm CP, and in this video, I'm going to be asking a very specific question How long do Beckett cinnamon shoes last? We've been working with Beckett cinnamon for the last two, three years, and as you can see, uh, we've reviewed quite a number of their shoes. In fact, this is just a small sample of uh, some of the shoes that we've covered on BespokeInter.com as well as on this very YouTube channel. And uh, we thought it was a good time after, after these years to take a look at the shoe's longevity and the kind of long-term value for money that they offer. As you can see, some of the shoes are in various stages of wear. Some have been worn a couple of times or in great condition, while others looked far more used, probably because I wear them almost every day. I haven't buffed up the shoes, I haven't uh, sexed them up and tried to make them look as good as possible. In fact, I'm quite negligent of my shoes, I'm pretty terrible considering that we specialise in shoes and that is one of the subjects that we like to cover in detail on Bespoke Unit. But uh, I thought it would be the best way of showing you how they age over time even when you neglect them completely. The first shoes I'd like to start with actually are these Cohen loafers right here. I wear these every day. They uh, basically live next to, uh, to the front door. I will put them on when I take my wife to the train station in the morning. I use them for doing uh, errands, running on errands, going shopping. They are my workhorse shoes. I give them absolute punishment and um, I don't care, take care of them at all. I think I put some uh, shoe cream just on this shoe to see how it looked uh, with a quick lick of cream. It wasn't even an uh, in-depth uh, clean, it was quite, uh, quite quick, whereas these haven't been touched up at all. And uh, as you can see, there are some creases, and if you compare them to how they were when they were brand new, there are some signs of wear, of course. There's some scuffs, uh, and the creases, they're perfectly normal. This is, after all, Argentinian calfskin leather, and I'll talk more about the leathers in a second. And uh, because they're Blake stitch shoe, you can see that the uh, channels are starting to get quite worn uh, on the sole. And they haven't been cleaned and I'm touching them, which is pretty gross, so I'll probably be washing my hands after this video. I have not had to uh, resole any Beckett Simmons shoes, but because of the Blake stitch, uh, they can be resold a great number of times. Now, although people tend to gravitate towards Goodyear well to choose and say that they're the best that you can get, indeed they are. Uh, super, superior in terms of water resistance and they will probably last longer because they can be uh, resold many more times but a good quality Blake stitch shoes like these uh, uses a small welt underneath the uh, underneath the upper which can then be resold many many times and basically what happens is that every time these are stitched all the way through uh, it takes away some of the material in the welt and eventually there'll be nothing left to be able to, uh, to attach the sole and then that, that by that stage you'd have to discard them. But this is three years of wear and this is the kind of condition they're in. They don't need resoling yet. So if you think about the length of time to have to resole on shoes that you wear every day and then on top of that uh, the number of times that you would have to resole in a lifetime of a shoe, this is more than adequate in my humble opinion. I also have these uh, Dowler boots, and these I received uh, a little bit more recently, and they're not made of Argentinian calfskin leather, they're actually made from a pull-up leather. And as you can see, they're worn uh, quite a bit, they're quite scuffed, and I quite like this sort of roguish, uh, rustic look, so I haven't polished them up. But I, I wear these especially for um, going out on excursions, uh, for example, walking the dogs. I also wore them uh, to Nicaragua when uh, Paul and I uh, travelled around to see some tobacco fields. And uh, what's interesting about these is that, unlike uh, the other pairs, they actually have uh, a rubber sole. And a number of uh, Beckett Simon shoes now use rubber instead of leather. It offers additional water resistance. Although you still have the open channel of a Blake stitch, I've not had any water come in and I wear these in very muddy conditions. And in fact, they look great considering I've uh, put them through uh, quite uh, some punishment. And uh, they offer excellent uh, protection against the elements. Um, even though I would normally recommend that you wear Blake stitch shoes in dry conditions, whereas Goodyear welting is going to be better against uh, rain, puddles, and things like that. Here we have the uh, Valencia 
hole cut shoes. Now these are a little different. I'm, I'm quite fond of hole cut shoes and I like to reserve these for special occasions. Not formal occasions because they're tan leather rather than black. This is going to be more like going out on a date with my wife or um, going out to see some friends who I haven't been uh, seen for a while or maybe uh, a night out uh, in Paris. I've got uh, these in wooden shoe trees, uh, Beckett Simmons Lasted shoe trees, so they can uh, help reduce some of the creasing. But as you can see, I've worn these about three or four times and you do get some creasing which again is perfectly normal with calf skin. It, it does crease, which is uh, a sad reality, but it's good quality leather. It patinas very nicely. I think I might have shined these once or twice in their lifetime. As you can see on the sole, you still uh, can see quite clearly the Beckett Simlon uh, embossing and uh, the channels are in good condition. But um, these are a great example of what they look like if you wear them occasionally and for special occasions. I'd highly recommend you get some shoe trees and I think Beckett Simmons do them at a quite a fair price. And of course there are these monk strap shoes which are probably my favourites because I really like Bordeaux leather. Uh, these um, I, I wear a lot with tweed suits and so uh, especially when I'm going out and about. And as you can see, there is some creasing as, as well. There's a couple, of, uh, a couple of marks here because I'm quite clumsy on my feet. Um, and they probably will need resoling at some point. And if I do do that, I'll probably get a video of it as well, just to show you uh, how it goes. But they've kept their form really well. They're very comfortable. Uh, the great thing about Blake's Stitch shoes is that they break in very quickly and they feel ex almost like an extension of your feet. I'm very fond of this. Another reason we wanted to talk about the longevity of Beckett Simonon shoes is that responsibility and sustainability has become a, a growing priority for the brand. And this, this is something that can be seen with the way the brand functions. For example, they use a group made to order uh, business model as opposed to uh, an online shop where you can buy the shoes and receive them instantly. Instead, by using group made to order, they only produce the shoes that are ordered, which means that they don't have an excess of stock in different sizes that are gonna eventually get wasted, it reduces waste, and it also helps keep the cost down, not just for Beckett Simonon, but for the people who buy the shoes. Similarly, the shoes are all made at a small scale uh, workshop in Bogota, Colombia, and when the brand first started, they were initially made in a large scale factory in uh, Portugal. Longevity in particular is a priority for Beckett Simonon, um, because they, well, first of all, they want you to be happy with the shoes that you buy from them, that they last as long as possible and that you're satisfied with your purchase and it really offers you good long-term value for money. However, another reason is that you can potentially reduce your CO2 emissions by 40% when you continue wearing the same shoes or wearing the same items of clothing rather than replacing them on a six-month or yearly basis. This is but one of the many reasons that Beckett Simon have decided to go for a Blake stitch construction that can be resold for a great number of years. Earlier I mentioned that Beckett Simon uh, use Argentinian calfskin leather to craft their shoes and I'm not lying, indeed this is the case for the majority of the shoes that you see before you. However, uh, these days they've actually changed to this. Only the, uh, only the soles and the heel stacks are made with Argentinian calfskin. Indeed, the uppers are now made using a gold standard Italian full grain leather from Arignano. Indeed, the brand discovered the uh, Montrato Tannery that was founded in 1958 and is currently run by the founders' uh, sons, uh, Santo and Bruno. The gold standard uh, is awarded by the Leather Working Group, who will uh, assess the quality of a tannery and its leathers based on the traceability of the hides, the environmental policies and procedures, the energy consumption used for making the hides, the water usage, the air and noise emissions, the waste management and the worker safety. The gold standard is awarded for tanneries who are able to produce at 85% or above. Therefore, arguably, the new shoes from Beckett Simonon are actually superior to the ones I have and I'm very, very happy with the quality of these already. Furthermore, Beckett Simon have been working and researching on alternative leathers and materials for producing their shoes, and it goes to show that they're willing to change because they discovered the gold standard leather in Italy rather than continuing with the Argentinian calfskin for the uppers as before. Indeed, we have to admit, despite loving uh, leather and for all the benefits that it has, that there are certain ethical dilemmas in using uh, leather to make shoes, and Beckett Simon have been working hard in researching the alternatives out there. Unfortunately, the majority of vegan, uh, vegan leathers are derived from plastic, which means that although they're perhaps ethically better, environmentally they're going to have a greater impact. Similarly, uh, Beckett Simon have even been looking into mycelium, which is a type of leather that is produced from mushrooms. 
but sadly is not scalable right now and doesn't offer the desired longevity that Becker Simonon wish to produce with their shoes. Indeed, longevity is one of the most important factors in the uh, quality of the shoes that Beckham Simonon produce. Therefore, if they were to make them from something that isn't going to last as long, they're going to be disappointed and people buying them are going to be disappointed as well. And of course, that will only increase our CO2 emissions, as I mentioned earlier. Although we have partnered with Beckett Simon, as you can see, I wear their shoes on a daily basis. And indeed, I absolutely do love wearing them. I think they offer exceptional value for money, given the price point is just $200 RP or $170 if you use our code uh, BU20, which gives you 20% off. The leathers age very gracefully, they patina over time, they buff up beautifully when you give them a good shine, and of course the shoes uh, provide comfort, they keep their shape, and they don't break down. On top of that, the comfort remains very pleasant. These shoes uh, don't lose their shape, they don't fall apart, and you'll be very, very happy for many years to come if you do try some Beckett Simon shoes. That's all from me today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give us a like and feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions regarding Beckett Simon or the construction methods or even the qualities and types of leather that they use. Otherwise, check us out on bespokeunit.com and take a look around our YouTube channel. I'm sure that there will be other men's lifestyle subjects that will interest a discerning gentleman like yourself. And I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Take care.